What is going on today guys? This is your man King May and I'm back with you guys wanting to talk about Southern Justice Roleplay. If you guys are interested at all in joining a phenomenal community for GTA 5 5M, make sure you hit that link in the description below. It'll take you right to our Discord on the welcome page. Once you're there, you want to read through all of that welcome page section, react at the green tablet up the top, and then you're able to do all the applications that you wish. We got Civ, we have Blaine County Sheriff's Department, we have State Department, we have Blaine County Fire Department, and Blaine County EMS. So make sure you guys hit that link in the description below. And anyways, we are here and we're gonna talk about a very, very, very simple thing. Once you guys get set up, once you guys get applied, and once you guys are in the server, what this is gonna do is I'm gonna run you guys through on just simply how to make a character in GTA 5, 5M, all right? And this is gonna be for our community. Now, is this gonna work for all of them? It should be pretty much the same across the board. However, I'm just gonna mainly go over our scripts, our menus that we have. I'm gonna help you get set up as far as how you wanna make your own custom character, how to customize the characters that are in game, and of course, how to save those characters. And then I'm gonna also lead into a little bit of how to set up those characters in our CAD. It's gonna be very basic. If you need any help after that, feel free to reach out to myself, Hill, or Captain, all in the Discord, as well as any of the other admin team members. So without further ado, let's get to setting up a character. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are here now in the Southern Justice Roleplay server. You guys, check it out. My character here for the Blaine County Sheriff's Department K-9 Division. Of course, we got the undercover charger right there. But anyways, we're not here to check all that out. We're here to make our own characters. So you guys, these characters that we have in-game. Let's go up here. If you hit F1, F1 is going to open up this main menu right here. It's called the V menu. You're going to hear me say the either F1 menu or the V menu. Once you are here, you're most likely going to be at the top, but you're just going to come down to MP PED customization. This is going to be the first way in which you guys can set up a character. Now, you can either make a female or a male character. All right, guys. So once you get in here, it's going to be just like GTA 5 online or regular single player GTA 5. You guys, you can go through your character inherits. You can go through the same exact thing as GTA 5. It's no different. You can go through your uh, appearance, everything that you want to set up here as far as eyebrows, hair, beard, whatever you want to do, aging, all that, of course. And then, of course, if you want to set up tattoos, any kind of clothes, there's all sorts of options as far as clothes are concerned. And then, once you come down here, you can set up props, facial expressions, any of that good stuff. Now, you guys, once you are all done setting up your character with MP PED customization, make sure you hit that save character button right there. Make sure you hit it. When you're done hitting that, though, make sure you name it whatever it is that you want to name it. All right, guys? So if we hit right here, we're going to hit enter save name. Now, I'm not going to save this one because I really don't need one at all. So I'm going to hit exit without saving. And that's something for you guys as well. If, you, if, if by chance you don't really want to keep that one, just go ahead, back on out, hit exit without saving. Same thing with making a female character. Now, once you have made those characters, all right, and that character pulls up, you guys can hit F1 for the V menu. You can go to MP Pet Customization, go to Save Characters, and of course you guys can see my long list of Heads that I have made. So we're gonna spawn back in as our Blaine County Sheriff's Department K9 officer. Now I did go through that a little bit quick. So this list, as it comes up, you're gonna be able to select on it, and then you can either edit that save character if you wanted to make changes after it's been saved. You can clone, you can set as your default character, so you spawn in as that person every time you load into Southern Justice Roleplay, or you can rename it, or of course, delete it. All right, guys, that's the main menu. And of course, like I said, just spawn it. Now, here's the thing. Once you make one, you're only gonna see one. The way that I did all of these and every single character is the same person. What I did is I made one, and then I clicked on that person once I was in the menu. I went to clone saved character. Once you do that, you can rename what you want the new one to be. Once you do that, and again, I'm going to back out because I don't want to, but once you clone that character, you can go back in, find that character's new name, 
and then go down to edit save character that's how i made my multiple uniforms underneath the same person so of course i can keep my same person even when i go to state and same same being for if you want to make multiple mp characters because you can make as many as you want you can therefore make different outfits for that same person have them saved and easily access them to spawn them back in later the second way in which you guys can have a pad here in Southern Justice Roleplay Community is go ahead, hit that V menu, that F1 button again. Once you are there, go on down to Player Appearance. Once you are in Player Appearance, you're going to be at the top of this list and you have 12 different sections in which you can select from different characters. There's about 567 different characters that are already in gta 5 each one of these categories has multiple characters in it you guys it is a little bit time consuming but if you spawn into the southern justice roleplay server which is open 24 7 you guys can take just a few minutes go through here find different characters that you think you would like go ahead select on that character and when you're done you can go right on back up to the top of the same list right here in player appearance didn't have to go anywhere just hit a select a character once you find one go to the top hit pet customization under pet customization each pet is a little bit different so keep that in mind not all of them have the same options as far as being able to adjust customization however depending on which one you do you can go through you can customize them just the way that you would like and let's say that's pretty much good for us right there let's go down don't really want to do much else let's just leave it as that okay so once you're done hit b and back out of the pet customization when you're done and you want to keep this character make sure you go down here and hit the save current pet and let's just make up a name let's do devin adams we're just gonna make up a name Devin Adams once you have saved that ped and you guys want to come back to it of course every time you load back into the game if you were all the way out just hit F1 go to player appearance and go to spawn saved peds all right guys so if we go down here we're gonna find where is our Devin our De Devin Adams there he is right there we're gonna respawn Devin Adams all right guys once you have done that you can go down here you can also change your walking style which some pads are a little bit different some of them you can't quite always do all of the customization for them but that is okay once you have saved that character now comes the part of bringing this character fully to life all right so now we have made ourselves Devin Adams so step number one after we have made ourselves a character all right guys we're gonna hit shift tab Underneath shift tab, this is going to pull up your steam. All right, guys, your steam. Once you come down here to the bottom of the page where it says web browser, click on it. And now you can take this screen. You can blow it up. You can make it the full size. Now I'm just walking through all of this with you guys. For some of you guys, you're going to have to pull this up. So in the search tab, make sure you type in afterthought system. If you guys already have our cat set up as the default web browser for your Steam, that is awesome. Sometimes this will happen where it's essentially logging you out of the system. It is okay. Do not hit log out. The only thing that I do is I hit portal. If I hit portal, it brings me right back in underneath my name. Now, we're going to click on Southern Justice Roleplay because that's what we have applied for in the Southern Justice Roleplay Discord. Once you have done that, we're going to hit select department. Now, we're just going to start with Civ for right now. I am going to do more videos as far as setting up Leo and, of course, Fire and EMS. We will do those later, but for right now, we're just going to go Civilian. Now, once we have selected Civilian, we're going to come down here to select a server. There's only one option. Just click Server 1. Once you do that, you can log into the server. Now, once you guys are in, what we're going to need to do is, if you've been here before, if you've already used our CAD before, you already know what to do. Just select a civilian that you've already made in the past and rock with it. Make sure you logged in and you're all good to go. Now, we have a new character. We have Devin Adams. We need to make up this guy and what he's going to have on him and everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit create new civilian. Once we've done that, his first name, we've already named him Devin Adams. Now, address, you can pretty much make up whatever address you want. It doesn't really matter. Typically, what I like to do is I like to shift tab, pull back out of the game, hit start, and once I'm in here, I like to just pick somewhere random. Doesn't matter. You can make up whatever you want. We're going to go with 1027 
And we're going to do 1027 Mountain View Drive. 1027 Mountain View Drive. Now, once we have done that and we've set up where our person wants to live, we're going to back out again. We're going to go to height, make up whatever weight and height, hair color, eye color, whatever you guys want. Most of the time, I try to follow what my character actually is. It kind of looks like my character has light blue eyes, gray hair, and that's what we're going to stick with. We're going to go with gray for hair. Eye color is going to be blue. Weight, I'd say he looks about uh, maybe a fit 170. We're going to go with a 170 height. We're just going to put him at six foot. Now, once you've made your character, you can also go through the civilian photos if you would want. We're not going to go through that right now, but if you guys wanted to, you're more than likely able to do that now. Here's a very, very important thing. You got to select his license status, and this is where you can begin the process of getting creative. You guys, you can either select valid, expired, or revoked. We're just going to do valid for right now, but you can choose whatever you would like. Also, once you go in here, you can select the date of birth of your character. Now, since my... My uh, Devin Adams is rocking some gray hairs. We're gonna take him. We're gonna take him back just a little bit. Let's just put him at. Uh, uh, we'll put him at 1990. Maybe he's graying just a little bit early. We'll just put him somewhere around there. We'll just select a date. Doesn't exactly matter. You're kind of making up whatever you want. Gender is gonna be male. Now create civilian. Now once you have done that, it's not gonna pull anything up. What you need to do? Go to select a civilian. Once you have selected a civilian, go on down and find that character that you just made. Now, of course, ours is down here at the bottom of the list. Now, here is where things can start getting very interesting. So underneath this character, once you get here, this is gonna show who your character is. I have selected Devin Adams. So now Devin Adams is active in the server. Once you have gotten yourself active in the server, you can go in here and you can view what it is that your character has been doing. You can check out the citations that your character has, the arrest, how many times your character has been arrested, and of course, if you have any trespass citations against your character, you can check those out here, as well as warrants. If your character by some chance has a warrant out for anything, you can put that down here. Now, you can also edit your civilian if you really wanted to. You could go back, you can change the address, you can change any of that stuff. Also, add the image later if you would really like to. The other thing that we can do here is we can set up vehicles and set up weapons. Now, just as a base to show you guys how this is done, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to delete this vehicle because we started off as a police officer and now we're going to be civilian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit T to open up our text chat in the top left corner of the screen. We're going to hit forward slash and we're going to hit DV. That is going to delete vehicle. All right, forward slash DV. Deleted my vehicle, got rid of it. We're going to hit F1. We're going to go up to vehicle spawner. And of course, you can select any of these cars that are already in game, but I want to find something that is in our add on vehicles list. So when we hit F1, we're going to have this menu here. We're going to go down to vehicle spawner. We're going to go to add on vehicles. Once we are in add on vehicles, you guys can select from anything in this list, anything that you would want. We're just going to go down here. Let's just say our man. Devin wants a Fox Stang. Let's just say he wants a new Fox Stang, you guys. This Stang right here is made by one gentleman in the Southern Justice Roleplay community. His name is Kit Fox, you guys. Kit Fox. Make sure you check out Kit Fox in the Southern Justice Roleplay community, making beautiful, beautiful vehicles that he has generously given us to use in the server. Now, once you guys have done that, we want to customize our vehicle the way that we want it. We're going to hit F1 again. We're going to go up to vehicle options. Once you are here, we're going to go down and we're going to select mod menu. Once you pull up the vehicles mod menu, you can come in here. You could do anything that you guys want to. You can go through here. You can set up your brakes, your transmission. You can set up custom headlights, custom colored headlights. If you really wanted to get pulled over, that is. You can set up a turbo. You can set up any of that stuff. We're just going to hit back one time in vehicle options. We're going to go set license plate. Now, you can either make your own custom license plate if you would like, or you can just keep the same one. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down this number here. We're just going to keep this one because we don't really care all that much 
about what our license plate says at this time. I'm just doing this as a reference, so we're going to leave that right there. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go through vehicle colors. You can check out any of the colors that you would like to make your vehicle. Let's just go with graphite or black. Let's just leave it as black. We're going to back out again. Of course, if the vehicles have any different types of liver liveries, you can go through that. Vehicle extras, if you want to turn on any of the vehicle extras, you're more than welcome to. Window tint, any of that kind of stuff, more than, more than, more than welcome to. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to back out, and we're going to set up this car underneath Devon. So I hit Shift Tab again. I'm going to pull up our CAD. Now, once we have, I'm going to hit this plus sign right here next to vehicles, and I'm going to make the vehicle that Devon has. Of course, the color we selected black. We're going to go to the plate, and the plate that we have selected was a 48JKT846. There's our license plate all set up, ready to go. Now we're going to go to the make. The make is a Ford, and model is going to be a Mustang. Now, once we have set this up, you guys can again get very creative. If you want no flags on your vehicle, just hit none. Otherwise, if you really want to spice things up, you can go ahead, hit that invalid registration, not registered at all, expired insurance, or no insurance at all. Now, let's just say Devin has a little issue. We're going to say has no insurance. Hopefully the cops don't pull us over, but if they do, just know that your character is going to be expected to get a ticket. Now, if you really want to get curious as well, you can start setting up weapons for right now. We're not going to do that, but just for example, you just hit this drop down menu right here and whatever weapons that you have selected for your weapon wheel, make sure you go ahead, select those. And then of course you can do a flag on it if you stole it or if there's just no flags and it's registered to your name. Once you do, it'll pop up in here. It'll say that you do have a weapon underneath your name. Now we're going to back out and just to show you real quick for the weapons, if you come down here in the F1 menu, again, hit F1. Go down to Weapon Options. Once you're in Weapon Options, you can go down here, you can select whatever weapons that you would like. Handguns, of course, some of these may or may, may or may not be limited to you as far as your permissions in the server. But, once you go through here, you have selected your weapons to carry on your side. Make sure, again, you go back in your Shift tab, pulls up your CAD, and make sure you add that to your weapons list. All right, guys. Now, once you have done that, you're pretty much all set up in CAD and ready to go. However, this is where things start getting a little interesting. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our M menu. All right, guys. So hit that M button. All right. M is in mic. Once you have selected the M menu, we're going to go down here and we're going to go to Civ Toolbox. In Civ Toolbox, go to Actions. And underneath actions, this is where if you get if you do get arrested by the police, you can put either hands up or you can do hands up and kneel down. And then, of course, there's a couple of other interesting things in here. Now, we're going to undo this and we're going to undo our hands up as well. What we're going to do is we're going to set our inventory. Let's say our man Devin has a pack of gum. And some cash. That's all he's going to be carrying in his inventory today. But let's say, just for example, our man Devin has a little bit of a drinking problem. Let's say that he did a 0 .09, 0 .09, just over the legal limit. And let's say he's rolling around now. Once you have done that and you selected your blood alcohol content, again, 0 .09. Once you have done that, you can back out of the menu. There's your character. Also, make sure you guys, if you are around other people, when you go to back out of menus, hit the backspace button right there. I just hit the B button. If you notice when you hit B and back out of the menus, you are going to start punching people and you want to make sure you watch for that. So hit that backspace button when you are around other people. Just helps with the role play. Helps out to make sure that everybody is staying cool and calm. And of course, if you're talking to police officers, you don't want to be punching them. But you guys, that's going to do it for today. We are, of course, set up with our, our character, Devin. We're going to go see what we can get ourselves into today. And you guys have yourselves a good one. Make sure you get out there. Get creative in the Southern Justice Roleplay community. Make sure you check out all the different ways in which you can customize a character. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment down below. 
or contact one of the founders and admin in the Southern Justice Roleplay community. You guys, thank you so much for stopping in. Make sure you give this video a like. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You guys have yourselves a great one. We'll catch you on the next one.